From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendell Edwards. We're on top of several stories on this Tuesday morning. We begin with the ongoing deliberation for the jury in the defamation case against Alex Jones. The families and even an FBI agent who responded to the scene that very day say they were harassed afterwards and threatened after Jones claimed that that shooting was a hoax on his InfoWars show. The lawyer for the plaintiff says Jones should be forced to pay at least $550 million. Now, Jones is also in the middle of a bankruptcy proceeding, so it's not clear how much he could actually afford to pay. And happening today, the man accused of shooting at a New Haven police officer twice will make his first appearance in front of a judge. So, Jose Claudio, you saw there, fired shots, several shots at Officer Chad Curry. You're looking at dash cam video when Curry responded to a crash. Officer Curry was shot in the ear and the shoulder before returning fire. That suspected shooter was then arrested, rushed to the hospital for treatment, and now is in police custody and facing several charges, including an assault on a police officer. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Uh, one of the top 10 best days of the year coming up. If you like fall, this is a classic fall day with temperatures in the upper 60s, which is a little bit above average. So some good news there with abundant sunny skies. Let's take a look at the numbers. Uh, we're going to run down 63 for you in Salisbury, 64 in Torrington, 67 in Enfield, Bradley, 68 at Brainerd. That's one of the warmer spots. I wouldn't be surprised if some towns sneak close to that 70 degree mark in parts of the Connecticut River Valley. And then a degree or two cooler for the immediate shoreline, mostly sunny and milder than yesterday. The sun was up close to 7 o'clock this morning. Sunsets at 616. All right, let's take a look at tonight's overnight lows. They're in the low to mid to upper 40s, a little bit better than where we are this morning. This morning it was cold. We had temperatures dropping into the upper 30s and uh, low 40s, a little bit below average. Now here comes your seven-day forecast. Looking good tomorrow, 71 degrees, even milder. And then Thursday, rain rolls in in the afternoon, at night, and into early Friday morning. That rain will be heavy with gusty winds and maybe even some lightning and thunder. It all clears late in the morning on Friday, and Saturday and Sunday look amazing. Thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Have a great, safe, and healthy day.